Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Ryan Saplin here, Fat Loss Strength Coach, and this is a quick shoulder workout I wanted to show you, a quick shoulder routine that you can do uh, for multiple rounds to really kind of sculpt your shoulders. Typically, I'm going to put a lot of emphasis on the medial and the uh, rear delt, and the reason why is because the front delt gets a ton of work from overhead pressing and bench pressing. And I don't even have to think about it. I like bench pressing. I like dumbbell presses. Uh, I don't like doing lateral raises. I hate rear delt work. So I'm going to put emphasis on those muscles to get lots of volume in. So uh, the first movement is sort of like a, uh, essentially a replacement for a seated row. So if you have a seated row, I think our seated row will be a little bit better because then you can kind of pull up. I'm going to be using a TRX, a suspension training system. And kind of what I like to do when I do this is I'll bring my elbows up high and then pull up like this. The emphasis is, is that when you're pulling, you're pulling and you're externally rotating the shoulder just a little bit, just so you can kind of get that rear delt and a little bit of that uh, medial deltoid. All right, so what you'll do here is you'll come from the side, and you want to emphasize when you pull, let me just show this, that way you can see this, you're pulling like this, because I can't get the camera angle to be right, so you're pulling like that. That's the sort of motion it will, you want to create. You might not see that because my, my body position will change a little bit, but like this. That way you're seeing that external rotation of the shoulder. So let's do about 10 or so. And let me show you from a different angle. So it's, almost, it's, like, a rear delt, it's like a rear delt fly, like on a pec deck almost, with a combination of a row. I'm at, a, I'm, at, I'm at a position where doing a fly is too difficult uh, and doing a row is too easy. So that's sort of like the reason why I'm doing it like that. I can really fire up those rear delts. And then immediately what I'll do next is going into some plate flies. Now, why would you use plate flies over, why would you use plate flies over doing um, like dumbbells? One of the things are is that when you hold the plates, they stick out further, so you get a, I don't know, a shorter or longer lever arm, but anyways, it makes the exercise more difficult, and you get more tension at the top when you're using the plate, because instead of having a five pound dumbbell, basically like this, that's where the weight will be, will be placed, it'll be further out. And if you wanna make it more harder, you can make it more difficult, you can hold it here. But it's kinda of hard to balance like that with my forearms. So let's do some rear flies, seeing from the side view here, leaning forward, let's go see you get a good angle, then coming up and coming down. Now one thing you want to notice here when you do the rear delts is my elbow is below my shoulder still. So, uh, so you don't want to be here because if you're here, you're going to get too much lats. If you're here, I guess here is not so bad. I just, you get more medial deltoid here. But you still get rear delt too. So you can actually do both if you wanted to. But I'm going to put emphasis right here out to the side. And you got to kind of know your body well. Like if I go further, if I just do a few reps back here, I feel more of my lats. I still feel my delts no matter what. But if I go here, basically this is the hardest spot because this is the, the furthest distance or the most uh, disadvantageous angle of the movement. I'm doing 20, and then if you really want to burn out, you just keep going. I try not to rock. I have this tendency to want to rock, so I'm just trying to keep my body steady. Let's go see how many I can get. Just don't even bother counting. I just burn it out almost. And then I'll hold my arms out like here, and just like partial reps. Get those rear delts to pump up really good, and get those medial fibers of the medial delt or the rear, ugh, the rear fibers, muscle fiber, oh shit. I meant the rear fibers of the medial delt. That's what I meant to say. Just get a good pump, no equipment, right? At least with this exercise. It's a good way to burn it out. And I finish off with some light, um, some light lateral raises. So my shoulders are pretty burnt out right now just from those two exercises, or I guess really three. And I'm gonna just start with some straight arm uh, lateral raises like this, coming down. 
And then after I get tired, I can't get up high enough, I'll start bending my elbows to get more leverage, but still exhaust that medial delt. So now I'm trying to shrug because I'm losing strength and I can't raise my arms anymore. So then now I'm going to bend my elbows. Get that slight external rotation in the shoulder. So you kind of see basically a similar movement. Oh, shit. Basically a similar movement of what I was doing with the TRX. To try not to move your neck because if you move your neck, you're just cheating. And that would end the circuit. I would typically do 20, 20, 20 for five rounds. Uh, and one thing, that, one thing that you can do if you don't have a suspension trainer uh, for a TRX, you can actually just do sort of a variation of a rear delt row with some heavier weights, maybe some 30s. And you'll just set yourself up like this and then bend your elbows because you'll be able to handle a lot more weight like that. In fact, I can just burn out right now because I can still have a little bit more juice in those rear delts. I always like to start off with like a flying movement and then turn it into a rowing movement because that way I can <sighs> set, get more leverage out of it. So anyways, give this workout a try. Let me know what your thoughts are. See if you like these kind of videos. I don't really make these kind of videos, but I'm in my garage, I'm at home. Why not make a quick video while well, I do it anyway? So anyways, click like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And if you want to get my email list, link is in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all on the next video.